Just a quick heads up, this video has chapters. You can skip around using the timeline below to jump straight to the parts you need. Super handy if you're looking for something specific. The app will work on Android mobile and TV, but for this video, we will be using a Fire Stick. For mobile device, I will display the QR code for you to scan, so just have it ready. Alright, let's get into it. Start by heading to Settings, My Fire TV, find Developer Options, and if it's not there, go to About first, then click on your device model name. Mine is Fire TV Stick 4K. Click on that until it says that you are already a developer. I am now a developer, so go back. Then Developer Options. And turn on apps from unknown sources. Press home on your remote. Go to find. Move down to search and type in Downloader. Let's download this app. Initially, it will ask you about storage permission, so choose Allow, hit OK, Go and type this in, 804-8768. Then go, wait for it to load up. For mobile users, simply scan on this QR code. Scroll down and pick a version. Then install. Now hit home first. Go to this app icon. Hover on the app we just installed. Hit the three line button. And move to front. It will now display first on the list, so we can easily access this later on every time we close or open an app. Alright, let's open that app. At first, it will automatically ask for storage permission. Make sure to choose Allow. If your device is running or based on Android 11, this is what will show up. Choose Open Settings. Scroll down to Permissions. and make sure to allow management of all files. Then press back on your remote until you go back to the app. Let's continue. So make sure to choose the right platform. And since we are on a Fire Stick, let's choose TV. And we are now in. Hit OK on your remote until the reminders disappear. It's currently empty, so let's add library. Type in 11, that's 1-1. One, one, and unlock. Since we will be using a third party or unknown apps, it is a best practice, always recommended, to activate a VPN before downloading and streaming. This is applicable on any platform, just like Firestick. For this video, we will be using IPVanish since it's one of the most reliable VPN out there when it comes to speed and security. We can download it here or you can simply go back home and go to find, search and search for IPVanish. This is the app. Now open.
to create an account, you can simply scan on the QR code with the discount link or check the discounted link in the video description below or in the pinned comment. Also, if you are following me on the app on your phone, you can actually tap on IP Vanish button. Discounted link is applied on that button as well. Now log in once you have your account. Go down to location first. Then choose fastest available. However, if you want to choose a different country to make sure it's far away from your location, you may choose at the bottom list of countries and cities. You can add locations to favorite for easy access later on. Click on connect and press back. We are now connected. That means it is now safe for us to stream and download third-party apps on this device. You can connect as many devices as you want with a single account. So make sure you activate it on all of your devices whenever you are downloading or streaming. Moving forward, let's download the app. Under FlexVision, choose a version. For now, my advice is to look for stable or latest version. Now download. And we can now install the app. All right, I will let you check the app yourself. And if you have any issues downloading, go to report and scan the QR to email and report so I can fix or update it right away. If you find this app helpful, you may send a small donation or buy me a coffee. It will help me a lot in maintaining the app. And before I forget, after all the downloads you made, go to settings and clear APKs to clear the storage space. You can also clear the library if you want to open a different one. The library code we used is exclusive for this video and for this app. So if you wish to open a different library with plenty of apps, make sure to check this video. That being said, if you find this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this to at least one of your friends. That's all that we have for today. I do want to thank you for watching. Have a great day.